Hey y'all, welcome back to Johnson Branch Farm. It's Rachel here, and I'm bringing you another one of our single wide mobile home remodel videos. And in this video today, I'm gonna to show you how we painted the exterior of our single wide mobile home. Now there's still some things that need to be done. We're still gonna um, paint the doors. We need to eventually add a new roof to the mobile home. The roof works really good right now. We don't have any leaks or any issues with it, but eventually that is something that's gonna to need to be replaced down the road. We also really need to replace the windows, so that will be coming. And I still wanna dress up the exterior. I still wanna add some landscaping and some shutters and really just kind of give it some personality. So the name of the paint we used was the Pro Industrial Line from Sherwin-Williams and we told them we were painting a metal trailer, what we were doing, and they made sure we got the right paint to do the job. In order to do the roof, um, we had to remove the rust before we could apply the paint. So Aaron had to lay a coat of osphoric acid down, and I could tell you how to do this, but it is very, very important that you follow the manufacturer's directions for this. It can be extremely toxic and extremely dangerous and you have to know what you're doing in order to do it. So we talked to the paint store, they walked us through the process, we did some research, we read the manufacturer's instructions and made sure that we knew what we were doing before it was applied. Um, basically you would pressure wash your roof, apply the osphoric acid, let it sit for a set amount of time, then pressure wash it off. and it it essentially removes all of the rust particles and allows your paint to adhere. We had a pretty rusty roof, so it was very important that we did this step in order to get a nice even paint job. We also made sure that in choosing our paint for this project that we got a direct metal paint. Mobile home is all metal and we wanted to make sure that that paint would adhere, it would last for the elements and be able to be pressure washed. So make sure you get paint that's going to stick to the siding you have on your home. Without any further delay, I'm gonna show you how we painted and take you through the before and after of the exterior, not the final finished product of the exterior, because after all, it is a process and we are still trying to be as debt free as possible in this um, journey that we're going through. But I am going to show you what we've done and show you the before and after. And I hope this gives you some inspiration to tackle the exterior mobile home. Okay, here's what we got so far. The top square is gonna be the roof and that's graphic charcoal. The first one is whale gray. The middle one is blue metal and the last one is Lay Lux. So the middle one's definitely out because it contrasts, it doesn't contrast enough with the roof. So it's either going to come down to whale gray or Lay Lux, but so far Lay Lux is our favorite. Whale gray is more of a blue gray and Lay Lux is more of a green gray, which is what I was going for. So we'll see what we decide once these dry. Okay, we added two more colors to our color choices. This one right here is Sherwin-Williams Connected Gray. And this one right here is called Eclipse by Sherwin-Williams. is all clean and sparkly and we finally decided on a paint color so stay tuned okay before we can paint the roof we had to apply a coat of osphoric acid because as you can see up there the roof is extremely rusted and without the osphoric acid, the paint won't adhere to it. So Aaron's up there right now, putting a coat on. We're gonna let that dry overnight.
First coat of paint getting ready to go on the roof. So long, ugly, rusty roof. Okay, it doesn't look blue. There's always that first initial, put the paint down and you're like, ah, did we make the right choice? But it looks good so far. Charcoal by Sherwin Williams and the exterior was Eclipse by Sherwin Williams. Both of those were in a semi-gloss tint. Not done with the exterior. I still have some things on my list I want to get done. I want to add some shutters. I want to see we need to seal and stain the porch. We need to finish picking out a color for the front door. We definitely need to go through and replace all of the windows in the mobile home as well as eventually start considering replacing the roof. Right now, the roof is holding up very well. We don't have any leaks, there's no damage to it, but there's gonna come a time where it's gonna have to re be replaced. So this is just something we're keeping in the back of our minds. Thank you for following along. I hope this video inspired you and gave you some tips and tricks to help you get your house painted. I'm excited to show you what we've got planned for the future and how we're going to finish dressing up the outside and making it feel more homey and more like it's art. See you on the next video. Thanks for following along.